Aloha, everyone. Aloha. How's it going, you guys? We are on live. We are on live. Yes, well, on here. Yeah. Is it time to tell everybody to come on and sit down? Yes. Well, yes. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hi, Flo. Auntie Pua. Yeah. Good to see you. Well, I see your name. <laughs> Aloha. Oh, we've got a special service, special guest. So it's good to see you all. Aloha. Let's see. Yep, so I'm actually, look at this. Like, so I got you here, and here, here. He's a senior this year. Oh, I don't Oh, this is so technical. But trying to personalize, keep it personal, heart to heart. Aloha, thank you. So we're gonna start up and here we go. You guys ready? Here's a here's a fun fun video. wanted to welcome you guys today. Thanks for coming. Um, Thanks Amora for coming so too, cute. Thank you. you. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Good um, couple Good announcements time. this morning. If you haven't joined an Ohana group or uh, prepared to join one, um, or if you want to start one, there's still time to do that. If you have any questions, you can ask me 
um, I'll be, I guess, leading some things with the Ohana group. So if you have questions, let me know. And I will probably turn around and ask Pastor Ron. Um, but all the materials are provided uh, thanks to Casey, right? Yeah, and Steph. Steph yeah. Casey and Steph. Uh, so that's super exciting. Can't wait for that to start. And then um, no midweek gathering this week. We're going to give Pastor Rod a little break in the Shima house. It's going to be a, a good Wednesday of rest for them. And uh, we'll start back next week, I believe. Um, but no Wednesday gathering this week. Um, also, if you feel led to give at any time, you can go on uh, newhopemanoa.tv and give as you feel led with a joyful heart. Um, or like how Casey and Steph did, giving of resources and time is really yeah. awesome too. So, um, can I pray yes, before we? Please. Okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, thank you, Jesus, so much for this day. Thank you for a year of life for little Amora. Um, Thank you just for bringing us all here today and a beautiful uh, morning here in Manoa. We're grateful for the breath in our lungs and the people next to us. So uh, would you bless this day and um, just teach us something, Lord. Give us something uh, new and inspiring and refreshing from your word. Uh, we're so excited to be here. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Take a look at this yeah. testimony. Yay. Thank you. Thanks, Shawnee. It's good to see all of you and all of you on in Facebook land. Uh, I wanted to do something different. I just thought, you know, worship is an expression of, of just our lives, right? It's a heart thing. Uh, we worship, Janice reminded us, in spirit and in truth, and, and our lives are worship. So I love singing, love songs, instruments, etc., but worship's more than that right because it's this connection of adoration to just the, the god who loves and and who's given so much and and so I, I wanted us to sort of express our our worship and and be connected with the lord through uh, life and through testimony so i'm going to switch over here and hopefully all of this is working yeah all right Kule, oh, can you hear me? Unmute. Hi, Kule. Are you there? Unmute. You're muted. Ask to unmute. Oh, there you go. Hi. Hi. Oh, excuse me. I'm. Adjusting the volume here, so we got Kule on. Let me let me make this. Oh, I, I'll make you bigger. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh no, that's bigger. That's bigger now. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I I wanted. Thank you so much for for joining. I I can kind of do this so you can see. Uh, so we've got more of the Ohana here, Coral. Oh, I didn't get the permission to uh, put them on on screen, but uh, some of you on, on Facebook you can you can see. So, so yeah, this thank you. yeah, this is our expression. This is our worship, even through the sharing of life, right? Through prayer, uh, testimony. So, yeah, I just wanted you to yeah share because we've been praying for you. Of course, a handful of our other ohana. So, just. Uh, what's the update for, for you and Ali? Oh, we see Alan back there. Hey, Ali. How was he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> yeah. But can you share just a, a little update with us, um, just how you and Alan are, are doing and, and anything, yeah, just on your heart that way. Yeah, as well, Alan's been going through, um, well, health, health, heart problems for way long ago. Uh, and then stumbled into cancer, prostate cancer, bone cancer. Uh, now he has it's liver cancer. Um, so, uh, yeah, the, the, the liver the cancer has spread, but but with faith, yeah, buddy, he's he's not backing down by faith, and that's what gives him strength. Is, is the joy of the Lord mm -hmm. and praised in Him, you know, and uh, 
So he was um, he was going in and out of the hospital in the end of July. Doctors said that he wasn't, you know, it was time that he may have a short time mm -hmm. here with us. And so we're making every every minute count, every day with joy, and uh, just loving with on each other. Yeah, honey? Yeah. 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 And then um, for myself, uh, uh, well, I went through last year with uh, hysterectomy uh, when I left, the last day when I left, you know, and I shared about don't waste answer. So um, it's uh, kind of hard to say, don't waste cancer. What does that mean? I think don't waste cancer is even if you're going through it, that we, we get to share, to help each other mm -hmm. when others are going through it so that we can embrace each other, going through it strong, you know. That's strong because he's the one that prepares, he's the one that gives you strength because it, it's really like, you don't know what's going to happen, you know. You're at the edge of this little thin rope. And so then um, a year later now, I'm, I was diagnosed with uh, cancer in my on my throat on the left side and something to do with my thyroid. They may take it out. And then they found another piece of interest on my, on my right side. But when they went to the MRI uh, uh, last week, yeah, I think it was last week, um, they found that I have a tumor in my brain on the right side, just right above my eyes, right about here. So, um, but you know, God is so good. Uh, when I did go, I was kind of nervous, of course, you know, thinking, oh, what's what now? <laughs> But uh, as I went into the office, there was so much peace. You know, you just know that God is there. But knowing him that he's there was that comfort, you know. I didn't, it wasn't that I was stressed out and what am I going to do, you know, like mm -hmm. you're falling up here. Mm -hmm. But um, it was good. It was really good. And that was, I think God gave me so much strength that day, mm -hmm. you know. And so that's my, our diagnosis right now. That's where we are. Yeah. But God's been so good, you know, it's yeah. just so much peace. Wow. Yeah. Can't imagine being without him. I don't know how people can be without God. Wow. Because he's the one that gives that peace, brings that joy, even if times of the storm. Uh-huh. You know. Yeah. Um so we just enjoy the we just enjoy God yeah. every day. Yeah. And love on each other. That's about all we can do. And if we can help somebody through the phone or by prayer, so so we do it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Kuule, uh, I mean, so on your part, you're experiencing, of course, the physical part, the reports, and, and then going through it. Uh, and, and you've received this peace. And But w what are is there something God's like asking you like what do you do to to be strengthened you know uh, like I mean pray or what, what are some some things that you do to strengthen your spirit or yeah how does that work yeah. for you for me um, of course because of COVID we don't get to go out you know but when I do go out I try to ask him for me for a uh, appointment as one appointment and I he gives me appointments and to speak about the Lord or oh, you mean like witnessing like sharing Christ with others you mean sharing Christ with others <laughs> you know and whatever he says like there was a a, a, a lady we we're good friends with the family and we just by coincidence met at the hospital and so for many days we were going there and they were there too so, kind of about the last day when we were there, um, when I was leaving, it's, it's overcome by the, I guess the Holy Spirit, just tell her, tell her to go to church. That's it. Hmm. And because during the days we were there, she was talking to me about not going to church, not returning to church. But her husband wants to be to church. 
you could still be one of these sisters, but they're like stuck because moms don't want to go to bed. So the last day, and she, he, uh, I said to her, I said, you know, God told me this, go back to church. And then she stopped and looked at me. Mm. And she said, oh, what? And I said, no, that's all he said. And I cannot leave this spot until I tell you what to do. What he told me to tell you, wow. you know, mm. stuff like that. Yeah. There's many other. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So that's the sharing of that part. Uh -huh. Or someone would just drop in my, 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 uh, my uh, Instagram, like my niece, I didn't see her for a year or so. And she just dropped in trying to get a hold of her, but she never, but, and the Lord is telling me to just talk about him, to share him. Wow. Yeah. That's what he said. He says, talk about me. Wow. Yeah. Um, to share his great love, his greatness, his joy, his peace, yeah. the cross. You know, whatever comes out that time, the Holy Spirit just tells you. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I think, is this me or is this God? Mm -hmm. You know, is this me? I'm not the one that's going to shine. God is going to shine. Yeah. That's his glory. Yeah. You know, so I think he's moving in a place where he wants a lot of his children to know that he is Lord. And whatever you're going through, and if you're baptized, if you're if you receive him in Christ, you know, pray for your children, pray for your family. In due time he will answer. Mm. You know. But to get ourselves straight as well with wow. him. Yeah. You know, we can we can think about ourselves and pray on ourselves. But when you do it for others, it's like how you folks have been praying for Ellen and I, you know, each and every one of you, thank you so much, you know. And that's not gonna be void going to come back hundreds of times blessings to you folks mm -hmm. you know who you pray with or, or who you pray with who you speak about God with because God will give each and every one of us an appointment and he says not to be afraid be bold mm. if that person doesn't receive it that's okay you just leave them with God leave them with me he said I will do the after and maybe somebody else will plant the seed, will water it, and then it will sprout, you know. So we have this time, I think, uh, to to um, to spread the word of God. Yeah. And don't be afraid. Wow. If they're going to hate you or don't like you or not loving you, because you know what? He's going to bring that person right back into you, like he's doing to me, too. Yeah. Bringing my family yeah. back into my life now. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, That's yeah. awesome. Well, I want you to uh, see the people. I don't know if uh, you can. I know there's a handful of people. We just, we love you. And, yeah, thank you. And we, oh, here's my lovely wife. Uh -huh. Hi. Thank you. But we want, thank yeah, thank you for sharing. And uh, we want to pray for you and, and, yeah, just can can I pray? Can I close this time with prayer for you and Alan and yes. the Lord leads you? But can I share what just one scripture? Oh yes, preach it, sister. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> There's many I thought, but one of out of uh, one of them is Psalm 23. I think you folks, everyone knows about that. About <clears throat> the Lord is my shepherd. Mm. I lack nothing, right? Because He's our shepherd. I have. I don't need anything more. I lack nothing. He gives us everything. Mm. He makes me lie down in green pastures. So where we, where we are in, in trouble, where we are in health, finances, whatever it is, praying for our children, praying for our church, praying for the, mm. everyone, you know, it just lie there and he'll do it. You know, the good quiet place. Uh, he refreshes my soul. He he guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Mm -hmm. So there's more to it, but just wanted to uh, share that. Yeah. So that oh. is great. And of yes. course, Psalms 91, read through it. Just read slowly and for some reason he'll, 
he'll in, he'll press in what he's thinking yeah. on you yeah. and blesses you, yeah. each and every one of you. And I thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank Amen. you, Pastor. Amen. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. And we do have, uh, you know, just a handful of our family on, on Facebook as well. So looking at you and then uh, just our Ohana here. Uh, so, yeah, let's pray. Father, thank you for the gift uh, of you, Lord, and what you provide uh, even through this time that we get to connect with you to honor you, to say we worship you, and thank you so much for just your spirit in Alan and Ku'ule. Thank you for your great peace and grace, and we we will continue to pray a healing touch, Lord. We just pray your power, your and Lord, I know you're pouring that out, Lord, and I know that Ku'ule and Alan are responding to you in obedience, trusting you, and so we thank you so much uh, for the gift of your presence in their lives, through their lives, to continue uh, to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And Lord, we just uh, we lift up one another, those who are struggling in our midst, those who are uh, others who are, are fighting illness, cancer, whatever it may be, um, and, and, and all kinds of issues, Lord, that we all face, Lord, we can trust you you are trustworthy and you are faithful lord help us lord give us a boldness <laughs> like you've given uh to kule lord just lord how you work uh, in and through each one of us lord help us to just heighten increase that boldness uh for just connection with people with family for sharing your name uh, with others and so we thank you thank you for your faithfulness lord in the midst of the Christian suffering in Haiti and Afghanistan, and it's it is throughout the world, God. But just a special prayer, God, for um, those and the brothers and sisters, and then just the many who, uh, well, just just unimaginable, Lord. So cover grace, uh, be your uh, be your awesome self to the people around the world that you love. So we thank you. We love you and worship you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We say, Amen. 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 All right. We love you. We love you. All right. We miss you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you again. <laughs> it's like, oh, hard to sign out. You're not yet church. Then you go to the parking lot. Then you go to the car. You say hi. You keep talking. And, all right. But signing off. Love you guys. Love you too. Okay, bye, okay. Alan. Thank bye. you. Thank you for everything. Oh, see? That's what I did. <laughs> Sorry, Kule. Oh, man. I'm going to turn this around. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. Pardon for sin, pardon for sin, and a peace that endureth. Thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide. Strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. Blessings all mine with ten thousand beside. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. 
Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Just one more time, let's sing and worship. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see. And all I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto and unto our households, unto our families, unto friendships, unto those we're struggling with. Lord, great is your faithfulness upon the rich, the poor, the weak, the strong, uh, the mighty, and those who lack in might. Lord, great is your faithfulness to our enemies, uh, to those who persecute. Uh, Lord, you call us, I don't, how that works, somehow, some way, you pour out a kind of love in our hearts to, to yield to uh, your word and your truth, to love, to forgive. And, and Lord, thank you, Lord, when we fail at that, that you strengthen us, you remind us, you forgive us, and you call us back uh, just to yourself. Lord, we do continue to pray for just the world around us and the world, God. Just go ahead and just lift up. I know this is like just sort of, again, that rapid fire, open heart prayer. Oh, God. Lord, in the midst of all that's going on, Lord, you've called us to do our part, to live our part, just right where we're at. And it's, I believe it's all significant from the youngest of us here to the eldest of us here. Lord, so show each one of us in your special way. May we stay in tune with you, Lord, and hear your, your voice for us. Um, we thank you. Oh, and just, uh, just God boldness when I think of Kool-Aid sharing in the midst of finding this tumor and the cancer and this and caring for Alan and all that she's going through, the, the grace you've given her to be bold to share the love of Jesus and her faith and your faithfulness. Would you grant us that in some ways, Lord? Just speak to us. Lord, we thank you. And help, uh, again, those strengthen the Christians who are being persecuted, martyred. Uh, Lord, just uh, help. Help. We live with such freedom. I mean, some trials. We're blessed with a sense of uh, comfort and grace and ease in a certain way. But, Lord, thank you. Thank you that you, you love and you care. You're faithful. In Jesus' name we say, amen. 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 Ooh, yes. Oh, so good. Yeah, isn't that powerful? Just to, to hear and witness and, and share. So I'm so glad, yeah, we did that. And, and, and it does. Testimonies like that just... It helps our spirit engage, like say, oh, God, I don't understand. I, well, at least, I mean, there's so many different thoughts, right? Like, I don't know, you guys, I'm just like, I don't understand how this all works. Because I don't have that trial. I don't uh, have my little trials, but God still cares. And he wants each and every one of us, however, however small or great, just be obedient to him and thank him for his faithfulness. We're continuing... Our, our series, uh, this, it's the good news, and the good news, and it's fact-checked. I know it's by faith and by the Spirit of God, uh, but it's fact-checked by His Spirit, and exper experientially, just through the testimony of others, it's like it increases sort of that faith, and that faith-check and fact-check that God is faithful amen everyone say it god is faithful say it online where you're at at, at home god is faithful and the, at the top of your notes uh read this with me 
in Deuteronomy 7, 9. Ready, go. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is the faithful God, keeping His covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love Him and keep His commandments. And I think, and we've used this passage, uh, you know, last week, I'm just kind of keeping it in here. For me, it speaks towards, uh, you know, at least for me, and I, I think many of you, where what disengages sort of uh, our relationship, what, what, what hinders, what divides, what, what dilutes uh, just our relationship. And it, it sometimes uh, it's, it's pride, right? A pride in the midst of like uh, a Jeremiah passage like this. Let not the wise man boast in his wisdom, the mighty man boast in his might, the athletic man or woman boast in their athleticism, uh, the great looking man or woman boast in their looks, or the rich boast in their riches, on and, but let him who boasts boast in this, that he understands and knows me. And I am the Lord who practices steadfast love, justice, righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, declares the Lord. The delight of the Lord, that, that He's working the, these things out. And again, for me, the, the faith fact-checked uh, truth is here, Psalm 111. Would you read with me? Psalm 111. Ready? Go. The works of his hands are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. They are established forever and ever and to be performed with faithfulness and uprightness. The works of his hands are faithful and just. Did you hear that through Kule's heart and testimony? Is that not strengthen? You uh, through victory, uh, through hey, God is good. I there for me, uh, not dealing with those kinds of things personally, but experiencing a uh, sense of strength. Yeah, I, oh, I feel okay. Well, I can talk about that, but we're blessed, we're being provided for well, our health family it's like wow god you're faithful but to hear right even through struggle god you're faithful <laughs> and that's like that's what i heard through um Kule. and and in your notes and by the way online it's on facebook and you can look at that i i put the handout there god's faithfulness for us is revealed through jesus his faithfulness is revealed through Jesus. And we've experienced uh, the Lord in our hearts some, at some point, and we want to continue to experience Him. And in Hebrews 2, just follow along as I read, For this reason He had to be made like them, fully human in every way. Who's, who's that? Made fully human? in order that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in service to God, Jesus becoming that, right? Mm -hmm. Fully human to become this merciful and faithful high priest. So it speaks of the high priest being the one who goes before, the mediator. And, and that he might make what? Atonement for the sins of the people of the world because he himself suffered who suffered Jesus suffered right when he was tempted he is able to help those who are being tempted so it's like again I'm referring back to a cool like if we can help someone else through our suffering uh, Anybody like to suffer? <laughs> Who likes to suffer? But suffering is just part of life. I mean, it, it, it's part of life. And one of the things that I feel like uh, 
there's there's many things I lacked in raising our kids personally as a as a father. But one thing I look back on, oh, I I wanted to be a good provider. Right? I wanted to be a protector. You know, I, I felt like I wanted to shield them from suffering. Right? But part of shielding them from suffering, I won't get into too much of this. <laughs> I mean, I, so I'd want to bless them. And I still have this kind of like, we, we want to bless them. Uh, so uh, physically, financially, provision. You can get them the newest, the latest, the greatest, the brightest, the shiniest. And I mean, it wasn't like that all the time, but there was that. And to a certain degree, I'm part of that American Western culture of just spoiling the kids, right? Yeah. It's good to be spoiled. I still get allowing small kind every once in a while. Coffee, money, my, my mother gives me. I'm praying that my dad comes around too, give me a little bit of money. Oh, that. But it's, it's dangerous, right? To protect our kids from, from suffering. I mean, it, it's, it, it, it's, a, it's a tough thing. Uh, we want to be protectors. Uh, but Jesus... He himself suffered when he was being tempted. And he is able to help those who are being tempted. And in your notes, just say, read this with me. Hebrews 3, 6. Ready, go. Christ is faithful over God's house as a son. Again, Christ is faithful over God's house as a son. Christ is faithful so God, he, he is, he's faithful and revealed his faithfulness through Jesus to provide for us. And he atoned for our sins. He, he made us right. He reconciled, right? These big words, like he brought us into a relationship through the cross, through his suffering, through his life. And then it's like he's become faithful over, how many of you are God's house? Aren't you glad you're like you're God's house? You're God's house. And we just you, go ahead and speak that over like whether your life, your family, you are faithful over over these children, over these grandchildren, over these relatives, you're faithful over Becky, right? Back you're faithful. Christ, you are faithful over God's house. You're faithful over the the house of God in Haiti and Afghanistan and the Philippines and Nepal and in China and Japan. You're faithful, Lord, in Hawaii over God's house, the kingdom. All churches represent it. We don't want to be divided. We want to want to stop bickering and our yes, we're we have differences in our outlooks and perspectives on some theology and how we approach it, God, but Lord help us. You are faithful over like your house. Because you were the son that suffered. And I was thinking, what is God calling me? So this is always, <laughs> I, I kid you not. <laughs> every, every message, it's like, I, I, I go through, I'm in need of. It's like the Lord just speaking to me. So I just trust His truths by God's word and spirit to speak to you. Because he said, Rod, my faithfulness, because of my faithfulness, you can, number one, receive my faithful cleansing. Morning by morning, new mercies. Moment by moment, new mercies. Situation by situation, new mercies. Like, Rod, you can receive my faithful cleansing, the atonement, like the, the forgiveness, right? Read this with me. Ready? Go. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yeah, we re receive His... I had, I had there for us forgiveness. You can interchange. He, we receive His faithful forgiveness. But for me, I was picturing a cleansing 
and an ongoing <laughs> cleansing. You know, the whole soap thing, devotional cleansing, daily, moment by moment. It's like, how many of you just are thankful for his spiritual cleansing throughout the day? Let me tell you, if you guys saw my mind or my heart and the and the kind the pilau kind dark the kind I mean it's it's shameful. You too? Oh bless the Lord. Come on, con confess. Let's confess. <laughs> no <laughs> uh, brother Chia, right? I mean it's, it's true. All of us. Even you, Ellie, I bet. <laughs> as holy as you are. We receive. Right now, just even online. Lord, I receive your faithful forgiveness. Your faithful cleansing. My heart, my mind. In relationships. There, there's still stuff. It's while we're even going through it. Come on, somebody. Even going through it, Lord, I receive my faithful your faithful cleansing even going through it it's just this ongoing how many of you are in need of that right number two oh he's so faithful over God's house and he says Rod you know what you I want you to keep choosing like my faithful help I give in to temptations I cross the line because of my pride right honey <laughs> that's another story all right that's going I'm telling you it's I'm living in this tension of like I and I Lord I want to keep choosing your faithful help no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. I remember in, again, not specifically, but my brother might. It's like, what, I mean, one thing that, I mean, hugely kept me sort of in with the Lord. Yeah, it's Jesus, etc. But, wow, you just, you're a common to man kind of person. You know, it's like humanity, sharing stuff. You, you're so imperfect. Right. Oh, I mean, I mean, you know, right. It No, there's but there's a sharing. That's why I love just the vulnerability. Like, hey, we're in this. We all struggle. We all deal with dark stuff. We all and we don't need to stay. We need each other. We need Jesus, the encouragement, the testimonies of Kool-Aid, etc. Because it's common. It's common to man. God is faithful. And that's. Boom! Underline that in, in your notes. God is faithful. Say it. God, God is, is faithful. faithful. And He will not let you be tempted beyond your ability, but with the temptation, He will also provide the way of help and escape. He's going to provide that. I believe, I believe so. <laughs> that you may be able to overcome it. Okay. If you read this, section in this chapter look at look at the commands look, look at the commands around this and so one thing I got out of this look he he provides his faithful help so he strengthens us now this is sort of my interpretation if you look at this if you have your Bibles turn there first Corinthians 10 but I'm just gonna give you it's like it says you flee. You do. You obey. I mean, you look. You look at at the commands. He provides the strength and way for us to continue making choices, right? So, not our performance, but our obedience. Because it's not the performance. It's like we're just wanting to obey. Okay, but when we fail to obey. I fail to obey. I say, Lord, I want to receive your faithful cleansing and forgiveness. And I want to receive, uh, Lord, this faithful help. And I want to just help me to choose, keep choosing. And number three, number three. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love this. 
And as the Lord just popped this in my heart, I was actually studying and I, I, and I just came across this passage of scripture. Christ is faithful over God's house, to his church, to us. And, and he says, Rod, just keep believing. Uh, I'm faithful and I've got a coming victory. Like, I've got a coming victory. Right? So we want the victory. We want to walk as overcomers. Victory. Yeah, okay, let's pray. Let's encourage. Help strengthen. We want to overcome. We want to. But guess what? We're going to need the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down. Because there's a time coming where we might be walking through the valley of the shadow of death. And say, oh, I'm, I'm a little fearful of this time. Oh, but okay, let me help you not to fear the evil, etc. Because he's, and we need that encouragement from one another. He's with us, right? So the coming victory is beyond this, this life. We, we, we have, we should, we have to <laughs> believe his faithful coming victory. Read this with me in Revelation 19. Ready? Go. Then I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, the one sitting on it is called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. There's a lot of different perspectives and interpretations when it comes to revelations and end times and apocalyptic kind of views and all, all that kind of stuff. For me, the simplicity of Revelation, and John's visions, pointing us to a Jesus who lived, who suffered, who is strengthening the persecuted, and there's all kinds of events going on, and, and sorry, I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, one... Uh, um, there's other ministers that know, claim to know, some really know, events, etc., and timelines. I, I'm, I'm not a timeline sort of person, but what I do believe is there's a coming victory. There's a coming victory. And there's a coming of the Lord. I don't know how it's going to look, when it's going to happen, but there's a coming. And I want to hold on. I want to choose to hold on to believe through this life. Christ, you're faithful over our house, not just the church, but our lives. And Lord, thank you for your daily, moment by moment, situation by situation, even with persons and family and people, for your cleansing, for your cleansing. And, and Lord, in the midst of suffering, I want to just keep believing your faithful coming victory. Because you are faithful and true. That's what my spirit believes. That's what my spirit believes. Do you want to continue being strengthened in that believing? Right? Because I, I feel like someone, wh whether it's online, maybe here, it's like, ooh, it's hard, hard to believe. I get it. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. What is it, Pastor Mike? It's, it's just it's sort of growing, experiencing, suffering. It's like real life. You're trudging through life, living and side by side, and then needing encouragement. And, and we're growing in this belief and then being taught the, the word and, and working through and saying, okay, yes, Christ, you're real. <laughs> it's a faith fact check experienced by the Spirit of God in us that God is faithful. And that Christ, you are faithful over God's house as a son. And that you are faithful to cleanse. You are faithful to help us choose uh, to, to work through our temptations and suffering. And you're faithful to help us believe there's more to this life. There's an eternal coming victory. In Jesus' name we all say... Thank you, Lord. Hey, let's pray this prayer. Let's pray this prayer. Um, I don't think it's on your notes because I, I was praying this last night and typed it. <laughs> this, is, this is a prayer. Let's pray this together. And those 
Ready? Go. Thank you for being the Lord my God. You are my faithful God, keeping your covenant with me. May my family be in covenant with you. Let me pause there. Just think about family. Family you're praying for. Not judging, not, tr not trying to impose, not trying to... Lord, we just, we just want our family. We want, we want family. We want help and, and thank you. Thank you, Lord. You're faithful. You're my God. Be our God, our family. May my family be in covenant with you. Let's continue. Ready, go. Help us to grow in love with you and keep your commandments. It's Deuteronomy 7, 9, personalized there. Oh, those on, online, if there's, again, it's like the rededication prayer. If you've not received Christ, you feel distant, you're like, oh, well, I, I, I'm going through my own thing and wherever you're at like spirit of God may be speaking just keep like surrendering keep like saying okay I don't want to live my way I'm going to live like for you like your way and if that's your prayer thank you Lord Jesus thank you thank you for this time your word your spirit Thank you that you are faithful. You are faithful. We love you and thank you. In Jesus' name we all say, Amen. 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 Oh. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me and us and God's house and family. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Aloha, you guys. Oh, let's, um, we have that, uh, yeah. So before you sign off, check those questions or just spend a little time just discussing with your family or who you're with. If you're just by yourself, process with the Lord or uh, get on the phone with a brother, sister, and uh, just share the, the message of the Lord on your heart. All right. Love you guys. Oh, love you guys too. Thank <laughs> you.